The last talk of this session is entitled Cup Analysis of Wrong Reduced LED. The authors are Divisa Nuclech, Lei Wang, and Suang Wu. Lei will give us the talk. Let's welcome him. Thank you for the introduction. Oh, sorry, thank you for introducing. And then my talk is Kerbinet of Wrong Reduce LED. This is done the work with the Yvisan colleague and the strong move. First, I show the outline from my talk. So, we first of all begin with the background. Then, we give a relative straightforward improvement to use the apply the slide as a type to LED. Then, we show the most important result of this paper is we use a market collision to improve the previous key recovery attack. And then we show our distinguisher on LED, and we mainly pay attention to differential instead of characteristics. Finally, we give a conclusion. So LED is designed by Guaito at uh, 2011. So yet another reason to thank our general chair. Uh, from the title lightweight encryption device, so it's a lightweight block cipher, and the block size is 64 bit, and the key is mainly 64 bit or 128 bit, and uh, yeah, the even though the fact that the LED is ultra light, interestingly it has the conservative security. For example, they pay particular attention to the relative key attack and the two distinguishers in the function settings. So I show the specification. So this is what LED look like. So the blue text will X of the sub key and go to a public permutation. Then X X of the next sub key go to the next step function and iterate. And until the end, they produce the step text. So let's see the case schedule function is extremely simple. If you denote the master key as K. So in the 64-bit version, K will be used uh, at the round, at round key in each round. For the 128-bit, so the K is split to half K0, K1, and uh, they, they use the K0, K1 after native way. Then let's look at the style function. It's AES-like. Uh, each style function has four rounds, and each round you can see is similar with AES round function. First, you add the round constant, then you go to the sub cell, <coughs> and you go to shift row and mix column. And each step function, and also the round functions, you differ in the round constants. And uh, LED64 has eight steps, and the uh, 128-bit version has 12 steps in total. So I show the timeline of previous analysis, and when the designer published the LED, they, pay, they evaluated the resistance to differential current analysis, linear current analysis, and many other current analysis. Particularly, they show that they use the serialized block current analysis to show the distinguishers on round and reduced LED. And after that, then you saw that the Sipudami published the a key recovery attack on two step LED uh, 64-bit six, version and the first step of 128-bit version. The attack is the mid-in-the-middle curve analysis. <coughs> and after that, Mendel they published, Mendel published the uh, further result on, at the idea curve of 2012. And it has a key recovery attack on four step LED, 128 128 bit version, and also related key attack <coughs> results. Uh, yeah, and uh, there's also one result is to do some general esti estimation of our algebraic secret analysis on LED, and uh, yet and the backlink is also applied to uh, backlink is also applied to LED. And this is the security state of LED now, and. Uh, we mainly focus on the number of attack steps. So you can see for LED64, 
15-fold bit version. You can break a base type to single key cycling and also first step in relief key cycling. And the 120 bit version, you can do I mean first step in single key cycling and the six step in relief key cycling. So we give our first result. So we apply the slide X attack to the LED. So our focus is to this one. So the previous single key attack on the 128 bit work to the fourth step. So you can see this slide X attack is proposed by Danko Mahito at the Yolo curve of 2005. And you can see Zikan and I only focus on here to simplify the story. We focus on the single key, one step even more serial structure. For this one, for any public permutation E, you will be able to recover the key with the time date period of like this time times data is to the power n k, the secret case in this law. And moreover, it's known reflex <coughs> attack. So how can we attack this? How, how can we apply this one to LED 128-bit one, version? You can see. So first, you get the k0. Then from the plain text p, you can compute until the middle. I denote as the p plane. And then you compute backward from c to c plane. Then you P off the F0, F3. Then let's look at what the remaining. So now it's a, for the internal F1, F2, K0, you know. So it's a public permutation. I denote as E. So now we try to, so now we can recover K1 best line as the type. So this is exactly, this is exactly how you can apply the slide as the type. So by applying the <coughs> slide X attack, so we get, so compared to the previous work, all attack is a normal attack attack. And the, the, for the complexity, now it's like the, the, we need the 2232 com, uh, data compared with the middle their work, uh, the data complexity is greatly reduced. They need the, the entire code book. And compare with Isabel's uh, and Sidutani's work, and uh, we can have the same trade off for the same data, same time complexity. But we can go even further. You can use more data to reduce the time complexity further. Now we talk about our next result. We, uh, we apply the mark collision. So let's look at the two-step given Monsieur. So this is what, this is uh, this single key two-step given Monsieur. So the case in bit long and E zero E one can be any public permutations. So we know that if these three key are different, like K zero, K one, K two independent, we can recover all these three keys with a complexity to the power n. But now we have further. We have extra information that they are equal. I mean, they are the same key. So the question is, can we recover the key with a complexity less than to the power n? So we use the extra information. So this three key are equal. So we split the, the computation to three parts. So first, we they, they input it to k zeros x. So k can be computed by px, px or x, and then we compute the middle, and we can also use the x and the y to get key. And for the last part, we can get the key y, x, or c. And we will recover x for some p. If we know the x for some p immediately, we can, we can know the key. So, we combine these equations, we will erase the y, we erase the key, and eventually we get this equation, p, c, and x. If you look into it, the left side is p, the right side, the only part with p and c is p, x of c. So, we 
we've had a lot of fun at TMR to collision. I mean, from the data that TMR collision on PX of C. So we can see there are T, phone text, server text pairs, that is X all uh, equal a collision. We denote that as a constant. <coughs> so then we can see the equation change to, well, the right side is only related to X sign. So to make it simple, we can denote it as, we can denote it, it with a G. So then we can recover some like psi, one like psi of this, of one of this ciphertext psi, and with the complexity to, to n divided by t. So we just try these random values as x, then you match the gx, not this uh, the public function, you match gx to one of these plaintext, plain text, if one match, will uh, give us that x sign. So how we apply it to six step LED 128? The first, the same we get P0, it will help us P of F0, F5. Then the remaining one, you can see that when we got in this part, because we know everything, we get the P0, so we denote as E0. And the later part, we denote as E1, so this is exactly single key, two step, even not zero. So we can use just not observation, we can recover P1, I mean fast, faster. So here's the thing. And we would like to mention that actually this attack is independent of the, the step function specification. So for any step function, this attack can be applied. And now we now we talk about our distinguisher. So first, let's see the differential and the characteristic of the definition we know for the difference. For the difference, you define the input difference, the output difference. But you just don't know the, what the input look, look like, the, the input <coughs> difference, the internal difference. But for characteristic, you only you will define the difference after each round, each step, so the designers have analyzed, have analyzed the characteristic of probability on the star function. For one active star function, it means four active AES run. So it, it was the, at least 25 active X box. So the probability, the probabilities are bounded by two to minus 50. So this gives the designers the the proof of the resistance to differential differential attacks. But all concerned in the open key sighting, we pay attention to difference, differential instead of characteristics. I see an example. On two step LED64, so you define the, the input difference. This is the data one on the point tax, data two on the key and you define the output that's three. So what is the complexity? You get a solution that will satisfy solution PT or satisfy the this difference. So we can do it by meeting the middle approach. So we started here. We generate started here value and you can see we know the difference. The difference that the like so that two so we know the difference. We compute like the birthday, like birthday pairs. Here we compute back birthday pairs. We match the difference first. After we match the difference, we can adaptively choose the value of k to make the value auto match. So then, yeah, after we get the internal value, the, the key, we can backward compute to, de to determine the value of the text. So we just need a birthday bound complexity. We can get the one solution. This will also give us, then this give us differential multi collision distinguisher. Yeah, you can see the we can find the many solutions with a linear increase of the complexity, but the differential multi collision will increase exponentially. So they are sure about the uh, distinguisher. And we can extend this one to fourth step, but we cannot for all the differentials. 
So we choose different. So we we choose the all the different the different in k in, in p and in the self text all be the same equal different data. So what we do is by this one by choosing the difference here the input difference to add zero become the difference become zero. So this is passive. And the last, the last one, the output difference here has to reach zero. So we know, we know here the input difference to f3 is also zero, and uh, we know the input difference to f1 is delta. The output of f2, the output difference is also delta. So we can again apply the meeting the meeting the middle approach. So we first here we. Determine the value of k and the internal state. We backward compute. You see the probability is one. So again, and it's a differential mark collision of four step. And we can apply it to the eight step LED of LED one hundred twenty-eight version. So actually, we we actually we randomly set the value to k k one, and we also set the difference on the k. K1 is zero. So then you can see this one, this computation in the LED, you can regard it as it's not a public computation. So I denote it as a GI. So by this notation you can see. So the eighth step becomes exactly exactly this one, the same. So we apply the same attack, we get a distinguisher. But the notice that we just set a random value to k1, so maybe if we exploit the freedom, I mean, by choosing the value of k1, we can do better. So before that, so I, I give a definition. We will propose a distinguisher, random difference distinguisher. So make this simple. I just show what we exactly what we do on LED 128. So we. For a given for a given random difference data, so we set the data, data p data c data k zero equals this data, and the data k one is zero, and we try to find a solution. So what is the complexity to find a solution? For the ideal case, yeah, we need to do the power n. Okay, in this can we do better? So we show a uh, distinguisher on. Um, 10 steps of LED 128. So this is the difference propagation. So because the difference will be canceled, so the first two step function will be passive, so there's no difference. And the last two will be also be passive. And we set here, so we make here the output difference will cancel. So we will get another two passive step function in the middle. So how we attack it? So this is a procedure. First, we focus on the two active star function. So we try to find the solutions on them. But by doing this, we exploit the freedom of K1. After this phase, the value of K1 is determined. So this is one. I do think we do the meeting the middle independently, and then we try to then we merge these two parts by finding collisions on K1. So in the end, we want to get a set. We will get a set of k1, xi, yi. For this side, they all have the the same k1, and the one part k1 xi follow the step the differential at, on f2, f3, and the k1 yi will satisfy the differential on f6, f7. So then in the phase two that. We exploit the freedom of k zero. We will link one solution here to one solution there. So in the end, we will get a solution uh, from f two until f seven. So how we do it? So I delete this uh, attack. As you can see that we want that we have many the x i y i. So we try to link one x i to one y i. Actually, this we know p1, so it's the single p1 stack even more zero. So the attack will be very similar with the k recover attack on on this one. So 
So here I will skip the details. And then after we get the solution from F2 and F7, then we just backward compute to get the blink text P, then we get one solution. So this is the complexity. You can see how complexity is smaller than to do the, uh, the idea case. So maybe, I mean, maybe we can see that 10 step LED 120 is this non -edo. And uh, I would like to say that uh, uh, this attack is also irrespective to the specific specification of that function. So it would be rather, you can see it's a generic attack. And then finally I go to the conclusion. So the security state of all is updated. So we improved the single, extended the single key attack on 128 bit version from four to six step. And then we also extended the attack steps in these single issues. Thank you for your attention. Is there any question for me? some trade-off between the security and speed. Yeah. So if you are the designer, you are the designer, <laughs> how many rounds will you choose? Increasing the wrong attacks is still light, I mean the latency will become worse. So if you don't care about the latency as much as possible, <laughs> and yeah, as much as possible the security will be increased. Okay, if there's no question, let's thank all the speakers of the session. <laughs>